Hey Virgos, welcome to Vivid Vibration. I was chilling with Indigo earlier this morning and I have a dog snot on my shoulder and I didn't realize it until the end of the Taurus video and I was like, shit. So I did, it's not that I'm just dirty, I promise. <laughs> it's just that I was chilling with the doggies. Um, Virgs, I hope y'all are doing well. Um, we have the mirror and the stone, the riddle, the gem, the sustainer, the mystic, the poet, the thread, and the medallion. Oh, Bergs. Okay, so, I mean, there's a question. Obviously, that's the riddle, you know, and it's just kind of like, what am I anchored into? Because I feel like there's just this idea of like, it's such a partial idea. Of, of what was. Do you know what I mean? I just kind of feel like there's this memories are a beautiful thing, but they're also something that can be altered with time, be altered with, um, you know, like the types of, of conversations around you, right? Like I think of just like, if you hear somebody bad mouthing another person nonstop, all of the beauty and the, and the joy that you experienced in that, in that person seems to just disappear. It seems to become some fractured idea. And I feel like there's just this sense of what am I anchored into and, and, and who am I, you know, like, am I this fractured out person? Because you take that and you flip it around on yourself and it's like, but, but who am I? When I look back over all of it, do, am I missing the joy and the beauty of myself? Um, you know, when I allow myself to be pieced out and fractured out and, and, and I feel like this argument of this is what you're, this is who you are and this is where, where you belong and this is where you're supposed to be. And, and there are pieces of you that agree with that, right? But there's a whole version of you and you've just had to, right? You piece yourself out, you make yourself small on behalf of everyone. And you, you know, like, and if you, if you step into the wholeness of you, you step on the people around you. And it's just kind of like, it's just like a whole thing. And so it creates a lot of confusion about what it is exactly that you're anchored into because you have like, well, there's a part of me that yes, and a part of me here and a part of me there and a part of, you know, but if I'm all over here, like, I don't like, how, how do I bring that together to me? Um, you know, like, how do I uncover the value of who I am and find the beauty and all of the chaos of of the many voices in my head. Do you know what I mean? Like, that's just kind of that feel of like, because Virgos, I mean, Virgos are reputable for being excessively critical, right? <laughs> like, <laughs> I have had many Virgs in my life and I love y'all so much, but it is a, like a, a character trait of just being like OCD needing to be in control of everything you know, because you like, you want it to be perfect. Um, and it's, and it's irritating to everyone around you <laughs> because when there's only like one idea of one way of doing things or one way of being, um, you know, like, and this is what it means to have perfection, but perfection is something different to everyone. So one idea of perfection is not going to embody a, like a, a, like a fullness of community. Um, and I feel like you became hyper fixated on those one things because it was just a piece of you, right? And when you can't exist in the whole of you, you're not able to like release that hyper focused OCD energy because you're not happy. And when you're not happy, you seek conflict. Not even, I think consciously most of the time, I think subconsciously because you're just like, like, I'm not happy. So I'm going to make this so that I'm happy, but and, and you think it's their fault and they think it's your fault. But really what it is, is that you're piecing yourself out and you need to bring yourself back together again. And you will discover, I imagine once you do, that you no longer really care to fight for your, you know, ability to be happy in a tiny little pieced out fraction version of yourself. Because you're never really going to be happy in a tiny little fractured pieced out version of yourself. <laughs> right? Um, and, and you had to be able to see beyond the issue at hand, you know, read between the lines, 
so that you can really go for what it is that you want to do, um, you know, what it is that honors your value and what it is that allows for you to find the beauty in all of that pain. Ferks. Okay. Five of Cups. Five of Cups, Nine of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles, Ten of Swords, and the Magician. Well, again, leaving the confusion behind because the, I feel like saying like the actual issue was never being dealt with. I feel like there's just this idea of like people arguing about all of these things that it's like, well, okay, sure. But like, that's not the problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, you know, and, and I, since I see it because Virgo, you know what I mean? Like I see, you know, it's just kind of like that. So since I see what the issue really is, I'm going to fight for the actual issue and they're not going to hear what you're saying and you're not going to hear what they're saying. And, and it's because you're fighting over something that just doesn't really, I just feel like, like, it, like, does that really matter? <laughs> Why am I wasting my time and energy fighting with people about things that don't even really matter? Um, You know, it's like, so going back to the burning down house, it's like fighting with somebody about not putting away the dishes when the house is burning down. And it's like, well, you can, okay, sure. Yeah. The dishes, yeah, the dishes are out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Does that matter though? No. What matters is that you get the fuck out of the house that's burning down. And it's like, okay, so you go, you go, you exit the house, you leave those dishes and that argument about the person who won't do the dishes. You know what I mean? Because it doesn't matter anyways. It's time for you to go. Stand in your truth. Bring yourself back together again. And move forward. And leave these petty arguments behind because... I just feel like it's like, it, like it doesn't even matter, but, but that's what happens when you stick a giant in a room full of smalls, <laughs> everything becomes a battle. Life renewed. Love that. Okay. Bergs. We've got cards. Oh, okay. Six of swords, two of swords, ace of wands, two of wands, temperance, and life renewed. Well, you've, you've had to make a decision to release a lot of these battles that were just like, like, why, why is this life? You know what I mean? And it's because you are holding on to these things in the hope that you could change, but like, but change it to what, according to who, you know, like people are who they are and they're going to be who they're going to be. And it's not your job to fight with them, to try and make them be better, or see how they could change this or see how they could do this. And you know what I mean? Because ultimately in the end, you don't have, like, you might have sight, but you're, you don't have vision. You know what I mean? And it's like, like your sight is, is ill used amongst people without vision. And it's like, you want to have sight where there is vision because that's when it's useful, right? That's when your gift is a blessing. That's when people are glad to have your gift around because you can see how to get to where it is that they want to be. And that's such an integral part of a team. You know what I mean? And it's like, okay, you were, you were trying to be a God amongst men and you got ripped in 10 different directions and it's like now go go stand with the rest of the giants you know go go be amongst your people where you are appreciated where you are able to develop and grow and and you know like people will celebrate that and they will develop and grow alongside you instead of fighting you tooth and nail every single step of the way you have a new beginning you have a new community 
You have a new partner. You have a new opportunity. And I don't know. Maybe you just need to understand why it's okay to go for it. <sighs> Give yourself permission. Knave of Cups. the Empress and the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. I mean, I do think that there is a part of you that feels a little like a little nervous, you know? Um, but I think that, that you're, again, you're stand, you're stepping forward into your power. You're stepping forward into your abundance. Um, I think you're testing the waters of like, of loving something and not wanting to change it. Because I think for a lot of my Virgs, the idea of love has really been an idea of fixing other people because you wanted other people to fix something inside of you. And you thought, if I can fix this for them, then they will fix this for me. And it's like, that's not how it works. <laughs> you know, like that's how we get stuck in cycles. And I think that instead of like wanting to go in and fix, like you just want to go in and use your gift. Like, I just want to be able to, I just want to be able to go somewhere where I don't know anything and I'm the one who's learning and I'm the one who's growing and the gifts that I do bring to the table are things that these people don't really know much about because that's not where they're, that where their site is. You know what I mean? And then you combine those, those gifts and those talents and you move in directions that are actually very focused and intentional instead of fighting with people about why they should do this or why they should do that. You know what I mean? Like they don't hear you. <laughs> I don't think they can understand what you're saying because they don't speak your language. The underworld, the mask, and agape. Well, I mean, in, in conclusion, <laughs> drop the drop the mask, drop the facade, stop trying to pull people up that are like, that is where they exist, that is where they live, that is their home, that is their happy place. Leave them there. Stand in the truth of who you are. And watch as things turn around for you. Virgs, I love it. I hope this resonates with y'all. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe if this video does resonate. And I will see you again soon. Bye.